Hello and welcome back to the show. We've got a little bit of a knockoff setup here um, for the post game. My computer has shit itself. So here we are. Um, let's kick things off with the game itself. I mean, we win this one on penalties. Um, we had zero shots on target once again. Newsflash. Um, and Celtic probably were unlucky to um, not get one on the board. But this is the exact same result um, for them in terms of having a lot of opportunities and not coming away with any points or a result. Um, but yeah, if we're talking about it from an Everton standpoint, um, this was not encouraging because it's more the same. Um, and by more the same, what do we really expect? We're getting pretty much the same 11 or you know, the same group of players that are getting this opportunity. And I mean, how many times are you not going to take the opportunity? I mean, you've got the chance here via players going to the World Cup, injuries. You should be relishing this opportunity and playing well. Playing like you mean it. Playing like you actually want a spot on the team. And while unfortunately for a lot of these players, I mean, just poor irrational decision making, turnovers, slow on the ball, it's a lot of the same. And I think that starts with the front line as per usual. What a surprise. Neil Mope was shit. Um, there was a one-on-one -on -one early in the game. You know, he it was just him and the keeper. A nice romantic date, if you want to say that. And unfortunately, um, Mope somehow managed to chip the keeper but send it very far right. And this was under no pressure. If you're telling me that you can't finish a goal against... Joe Hart. And this is not prime Joe Hart. This is current Joe Hart. Current mid-30s Joe Hart. And, you know, I'm not disrespecting Celtic in any way. But if you can't score goals against this opposition, heck, it doesn't even matter what opposition because he had no defenders on him and still screwed it up. The man can't hold the play up. The man can't look after the ball in possession. He can't shoot. He's got the defensive abilities of a forward and, you know, the attacking abilities of a defender. He's not good for anything. And, um, I mean, there's a few exceptions in there with that analogy, but he has just been awful. And, look, it just has such a ripple effect on how we play. I mean, Damari Gray is another one um, that is just so inconsistent trying to shoot the ball he I think is on the wrong side of the pitch because every single time he you know it feels like at times we accustom our formation to suit um, you know players that are going to swing the ball in um, across their body you know with a cross but with Damari Gray you know he tends to get the ball a lot on the inside and always likes to cut back but on the occasion today, there was a few times where, you know, he could have shot with his left foot, but decided, let me cut back um, and shoot with the right. And that was just going back into traffic. And that was just opening up interceptions, turnovers, losing the ball, low percentage shots, all of the above. And to go back to Mopay, the problem with him not being able to maintain possession um, sort of impacts our our overlap. And that's because, you know, you can't afford as a defender to risk your defensive position or compromise your defensive positioning because, you know, we it's, it's very likely that we're going to lose the ball um, with players like Mopay trying to hold it up. And if, you know, these guys are trying to overlap and provide an option and they don't get used, which I would not be surprised about because... Our decision making is whack um, and that's at best then you know these players are out of position and I do think that a goal against Manchester United earlier this year really showed that off Connor Cody you know had to go fetch a ball and then Zakure turns it over in a really vulnerable spot and Connor Cody who had committed and Nathan Patterson who had committed you know those guys weren't actually there to barricade the United attack once Decore turned the ball over. So it just compromises our play. And I know this is a friendly, this is not, um, you know, probably 
going to paint the picture as to how we're going to play, but it may very well do exactly that, though. Um, because, you know, a lot of these players are going to be getting regular minutes, or have been, and I hope it changes, because I do think the young guys have a lot more to offer than what this group is currently offering. Um, if I just look at my notes a little bit more, um, you know, the young midfielder, speaking of which, showed a burst of energy, and, um, you know, it just feels like these older players are a little bit worn out. Um, it's just, if there was any novelty to them, um, that's all gone out the window. And we need these young players to, you know, give us a spark, give us some energy, um, and they should be getting more of an opportunity. Um, you know, they should be the second stringers. You know, we should slowly be easing them in. Um, like, who's gonna, you know, be the next man in line, the successor to Adrissa Garner Gay? Well, you should be getting these under 21s, under 23s into the system so then they can, you know, slowly ease their way in um, and get a little bit of, you know, bit of a transition period. Um, because, yeah, that'll benefit them in the long term. It'll benefit them and the team in the long term, but it doesn't seem like um, that's really in the forefront of our thinking. Um, Anthony Gordon looked looked pretty good in patches though at times there was that one really good run in the first half um which obviously you could trust the rest of the front line to absolutely let him down um following him passing it off he should have just taken a shot and gone alone for once um but yeah that was good to see i mean he didn't have the best of games but i do think out of the front three he was probably the most threatening if you could say that um also if we're talking about player of the games James Tarkowski, um, Tarkowski, whatever you want to say. Probably the best. I mean, good as per usual, solid at the back. A um, couple times he had to block some shots. We were under siege at the end and he was there pretty much every step of the way. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just been story of his season. He's been a rock and um, I don't know where we would be without him. With regards to penalty taking, I mean, it was good to see um, the young guys, you know, take responsibility and get their chance to um, stamp their authority on the game. I mean, it's a friendly, of course, um, and there's not anything at stake. But, you know, just for them to, you know, have that mindset and uh, be put in that situation where, you know, you, know, you need to score um, in order to put the game to bed or you need to score to give us a little bit of reinforcement, a cushion... Um, all that culminates into them becoming a better player and being able to deal with, you know, um, deal with these moments better um, when the moment comes around. So, you know, um, it was good to see them, you know, have a crack there. But overall, I mean, it's a bit of a worry because, I mean, you can't really make a judgment because we're missing probably our best six players, hence why they're all at the World Cup. Um, but in saying that, you know, you can't just win or, you know, escape relegation on the back of six players, you need every single player to step up. And I don't want to be falling into that hole of relegation again, but we need these players to step up and ensure that we finish 13th, 14th, 15th, and ensure that relegation isn't even a worry. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, today, if it showed anything, it's probably that we need to give the youngsters a crack. I hope that they do in the next fixture against Western Sydney um, because I reckon they'll offer a little bit more and, you know, provide a little bit more energy, a little bit more burst, acceleration, um, and that'll sort of work defences a little bit more if, you know, these young guys are, you know, leading the attack. So that should be good. Um, hopefully, hopefully we actually score a goal outside of penalties. Um, but yeah, that'll do it from me. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let's see if my computer actually decides to wake up um, because it's having a doozy right now. Anyway, that'll do it. Share your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you soon.